I know I, I vent a lot on the vlogs, but I, I really appreciate you guys listening to me. Good morning! I'm going to get my first vaccination. I tried to schedule several weeks ago. All I could find was a number. I called and then I was on hold for like 45 minutes. I eventually just hung up and I'm like, okay, well, I'll get it once it's more accessible. So fast forward a couple weeks, I go online at five in the morning. This was the time that I woke up so early and then I was able to schedule for a couple days later. Right now it's, it's available to everyone 16 and up. My appointment's not for another hour and a half, but I'm gonna head out early to see if I could just get it done early and then come back home. But I'm switching out my purse because look, I got a new purse from my godmother and she customized purses so she made this beautiful flower in a J. She's so sweet so I want to use it today. Thank you Mama Lynn. I have to go to the next city because that was the closest place and the soonest place and I've never been to this Walgreens before. I still think it's crazy that now the vaccine is available at drugstores like it's even available at Walmart if you could get a spot obviously. Is this not the cutest thing ever? This dog has shades on. How cute! So cute! Seven minutes. Hi! This is her thing. She likes touching my hand. Hi! Ah. Hi. Yeah! Oh, hi, Moss. So Judy's off to get her, her first vaccine. Leah got a whole bunch the other day. Not COVID, of course, because I don't think there is a vaccine for kids or babies yet. And it doesn't seem like they need it, I don't know, but obviously they've been very healthy. Oh. Me personally, I feel from the people I know, the people I kind of read about or researched that uh, the vaccine's doing a good thing right now. I'm eventually gonna get it because I know in order for me to travel, it's just going to be way safer, number one, and then two, way easier, especially if they come out with vaccine passports. I don't know how I feel about that, but I, I think it's another thing that people are just going to get used to. Oh, okay. Want to touch my hand again? Hi. She just loves that. Hi! Another beautiful day. The garden is looking much better. I've worked on it for about an hour, so I cleaned up some weeds, laid down some fresh uh, compost, some new bark. So what I've been doing this year, and I'm gonna vlog about it later, I've been putting mulch or beauty bark, which is basically like, kind of like mulch, on the top of my beds and on top of the pots because that's gonna help retain moisture. It's gonna protect that dirt. So that's a new experiment for this year in the garden. Trust me, just do the research. Mulch, gardening, there's a guy here in Washington that's an expert at it. He only has to water his garden like once a month. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. And then the rest is done by nature, but he doesn't have to additionally water his garden because so much of it is being retained in terms of the moisture because of that bark on the top. I'm going upstairs to check on our seedlings. We put it in Juliana's room. Those are all the stickers telling me what seeds are in what pods. Nothing's coming out yet, but it's only been 24. So what I'm gonna do today is flip this round. Whoa! Seed already, one already came out. That was quick. Watermelon, wow. Whoa, whole bunch came out. Here. You're having fun, aren't you? She loves to explore. I have a feeling more will come out today then. Look at that one already, three of them. That's probably tomato. Within a week, I think I can start transferring them to bigger pots. They'll still be small ones, but these are the pots that you can put right into the ground. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, what are we gonna do now? Oh yeah, your food. Well, this is a trip trap chair that we've been using ever since Juliana. Uh, we first saw it in the Sakoni Jolie's log. And then when we saw it, well, we visited, we got one. Anyways, what's cool about this chair, you can change the levels of the footrest and of course where the baby sits we'll be taking this off soon and it becomes a regular chair once your girls are all grown up i'm gonna adjust this for now finally Oh my gosh, that's so cute. 
No, she can't stand up. Her feet have room. See, she would tuck her foot behind her. Oh, you're on your tippy toes. You kitty pie. Oh, you can still stand. Here you go. Here's the water. Why do you gotta put your hand in your mouth? Oh my god, you're gonna have to slow down, girl. Be patient, okay? Be patient. Make a circle. It's good, isn't it? Oh, you need a spoon? I'm here to get my COVID vaccine. What's your name? I think your appointment is at 12.35. Is, um, I have somebody ahead of you. So give oh. me one moment, okay? Okay, yeah, thank you. Kevin? Yeah. Ready? I'm ready. All right. No pinch, okay? Okay. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Really quick and fast. Actually, that didn't hurt at all. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Of course, you're welcome. What are you doing over there? Oh. oh. There you go. <laughs> you got a huge mess. She doesn't read much, but she definitely uh, reorganizes. I taught Juliana how to go down the stairs, I remember. I forget, I think maybe a year and a half. Come on, let's go, up here, all the way up. Let's tire out those legs. You got poo poo. <laughs> Perfect angle to know what you got going on in your diaper. <laughs> oh, wait for daddy. Wait for daddy. When Juliana learned how to go down the stairs, I was so proud. Of course, Juliana being the first one, I just thought it was the coolest thing I taught a baby how to go down the stairs safely. Huh? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Gotta be careful. Watch what you're doing. <laughs> what are you gonna... Okay, there you go. There you go. Much better. Much better. Oh! Whoa! Oh yeah. There you go. Good job. Good job. All the way up. Let's change that poopy diaper. Oh no, this is my weakness. Lashes. Let's see if there's anything really new. I could never do the really long ones because it literally gets in the way. <laughs> like, I feel like I can't see anything. But I love the small lash, the short lashes. No, don't do it, Judy. Anyway. I have 15 minutes to just shop around and I'm supposed to, ooh, these are cute. They want you to stick around in case you get side effects. I like this. I like that it still looks natural, but they're magnetic and I'm kind of anti-magnetic lashes right now. So I knew I needed to get mascara. This is my go-to. I have really thin, short Asian lashes. So they're almost non-existent. So my go-to is the Lash 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 Blast Volume. I like the waterproof one in very black. The perfect bristles for short lashes. It gives it a good build and it also brushes your lashes as well so they don't become spidery. So yeah, it's been a while since I got this. I also got the bronze booster. I thought that they got rid of this. I thought they discontinued this. So when I heard this, a couple years ago, I stopped up. I used my entire sash and I was so excited to find this. It says new look. It looks exactly the same. I mean, maybe the packaging is different. Let me just see inside. No, it looks exactly the same. I don't know what they're talking about, new look. The only thing I don't like about this is how bulky it is. Um, I got toothpaste. One thing I really despise about Crest toothpaste, like I love this specific one, but I always forget which 
one it is because all the packaging looks the same I think there's like a radiant one that I got by accident but I like the one that has the cap like this not the twist off cap it's not the same it's like two completely different toothpaste so I now remember to get arctic fresh I legit got excited to see a two pack of this and I went and got me some fake nails because I was gonna go to the nail salon and I wanted to finally try acrylics. It's been since high school that I've gotten acrylics. I want to try out the Physicians Formula Silk Foundation Elixir. It says new. I don't know how new it is because I'm always late in the YouTube beauty world. But I really loved one of their formulas from years ago back when the girls were babies and I have never had it since then. And last but not least, I got Uno Dare for the girls, for the girls and I, cause we love the game Uno. I remember I saw Uno Dare at Walmart back during the holidays and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get that as a stocking stuffer. And when I went back to get it, they didn't have it. And every time I go to Target or whatever store in the Uno section, I never see it. So. I don't know, I'm assuming it was like a limited edition thing and then they just didn't restock. So, yeah. Anyways, the next game night we'll do this. I forgot how fun it is to just look around the drugstore. I was about to say I should do that more often, but I probably shouldn't because it just enables me to buy more. Throw the Peloton today. Lots of sweat. Oh yeah. My goal is to just beat my record by a little bit. So over time, I just put out more and more effort I, I do like that i do like that i can track that because you know I, I don't write notes down of my workout so it's nice to have that record thanks for getting this honey it's been about two hours since i got the shot and it just feels a little sore in the area but that's about it i heard this second shot there's more side effects but anyways we're gonna go to mama and papa's house oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna start pulling her weight around here. Thank right. you, at the Kira. What? She's so big. I know she I is. Just, it's, it's, she's so heavy. You can't wait for the day that the girls are taller than you, huh? Oh, they're all most likely gonna be taller than me. The JB is already above my shoulder. Actually, let me see. Oh yeah. I'm not doing duplicates. I haven't done laundry all week and so it just really stacked up and now I'm paying the consequences. This is so bad of me because I'm trying to teach my kids to be disciplined, to fold their own clothes. Soon, I think it's time that Juliana starts washing her own clothes. Like I feel like she's old enough. She's turning nine this year. I'm gonna start the process with her because when I have all of them at the same time, it just gets so chaotic and their energy <laughs> rubs off on each other. So if one kid is like, oh, then all three of them just get so antsy. They just went down for bed. Really, they should be the ones folding their clothes because that's something that we've gone through multiple times already. But honestly, I just don't have the patience for it right now. So I feel like I need to get it done just for my sanity because I was like on edge this evening. When I'm antsy like this and I see piles of clothes stacking up, it adds on to the stress and anxiety. By me folding, it's kind of like a form of therapy for me. Anyways, thank you for allowing me to vent. I know I, I vent a lot on the vlogs, but I, I really appreciate you guys listening to me. Let me know, you can vent to me too. Please feel free. Oh, you know what? Actually, I forgot. God. The girls and I created a gratitude jar and it was made for moments like this. Yeah, we need to get a better label. I am thankful for food and my fam. Aww. Okay, look, I already feel better. Hallelujah. All things are possible. Why am I hot right now? That took a couple hours, but I got her done. Cheers, ladies. Or, 
men. I don't know. Men don't really watch my vlog, but cheers to you anyways. <laughs>